Jackie's YouTube has a built-in video editor. YouTube has a built-in video editor, and it's pretty simple to access. You just go to YouTube, as you can see. You should all be pretty familiar with this site, as you can tell when you go on to YouTube. But you click up here in the top right corner of your channel and click on YouTube Studio. And once you click on YouTube Studio, you go to Content, and then you'll just find a random video, whichever one you want. Just click on a random video, then click on the pencil of that video. Once you click on the pencil of the video, Come over here to the left side, scroll on down where you see editor. Click on editor and give it a minute. Now this isn't an editor that gives you like, you know, the ability to put in multiple clips. You're stuck using the video you got, but it gives you options to trim and cut. That is to like cut out certain parts of the video, blur, blur out certain things. Like if you accidentally show a phone number or your credit card, you can, you know, draw a square over it and blur it out. I'll show you how to do that in this video or blur a face, don't open that bag, where you can autom where you can automatically blur out any faces, you'll just select the faces and it'll follow it for you. Audio, you can add music, add end screens, or info cards, a little eye you see in the top of the screen. So for the blur, you can do face blur, and it will, this typically takes a while. And then once this is done, of course my computer is slow, but once this is done, it will show all the faces it saw in the video, and then you just click on the ones you want to be blurred out. And then every time that face appears, it will be blurred out, but only in that video. Another type of blur is the custom blur. And that is where you have a square you're given, and you can, you can control the size. And you can, what you do is you just come over here, you just draw a square, and that will be blurred out. And whatever you draw on, it's going to try to follow that object in the video. And you can choose over here what duration, the start time of the video, where you want the blur to start, and then type in the time where you want the video to end. It goes minute, second, and a millisecond. And then you can do rectangle or oval if it's a face or something. And you can do track object where it'll do extra processing and try to track the object in the video. Like if it's a credit card, it'll try to track that object, keeping it blurred out. And you can do fixed blur, it's going to stay in that one specific position the entire time, which would be quicker. Once you're done with your blurs, you then click up, if that's all you have to do is just add blurs, then click up here, click save. And then here you go, it would change the video. This might take a few hours, so it won't be applied immediately, but it will be applied for the next few hours depending on how many blurs you put in. Viewers will see the current vision of the video. They'll see the current, regular, unblurred version until this is done processing. You will not be able to make changes otherwise to the video. The original video of your version will be stored so you can undo your edits. If you later want to take off the blurs, you can come back here and delete them if you don't like the blurs. You just undo. While you wait, you can leave the site. So you can literally, you can close out the site as it's processing. Press save. And this is going to go black, letting you know that you can't come back in here or do anything until it's done saving those blurs. That is how you apply blurs to videos through YouTube's built-in video editor.